Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be about Frizz Freeling. First, I just want to ask you, how do you remember his name being spelled? I remember his name being spelled Frizz Freeling. Freeling being spelled F-R-E-I-L-E-N-G. Being a big fan of Looney Tunes, cartoons, and just anything of that genre or, or category, I've always, I remember growing up watching Looney Tunes. From 1994 and beyond, all my life, I've watched Looney Tunes, cartoons, I've just, I've enjoyed, I enjoy cartoons. And he is a huge icon in cartoons. I, I can't mistake him, I can't mistake, mistake Mel Blank. I remember they commonly talked about Tex Avery, Bob Clampett, Mel Blank, and Frizz Freeling. But as you see now, his name has always been Freeling. F-R-E-L-I-L-E-N-G. Excuse me. Now, for me, Frizz Freeling, I have a vivid memory of seeing his name being spelled F-R-I-E or F-R-E-I. It had an I in there. His name had an I for me. Do you remember that? If you're a fan of that type of genre of cartoons and just classic cartoons in general, I remember he had a lot to do with the Sylvester and Tweety episodes and Yosemite Sam. He basically, he designed, he basically he's credited, as you can see here, often credited, to, credited as I Freeling. He was an American animator, cartoonist, director, producer, and composer known for his work on the Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes, and Merry Melodies series of cartoons. So, what do you remember? He had, he basically, he did so many movies and TV shows, cartoons. The Pink Panther, Yosemite Sam, Sylvester and Tweety, several Looney Tunes cartoons, Daffy Duck's specials that he, that they had of Daffy Duck... 1001 Rabbit Tales, all kinds of things that he did. Hair Trigger. He did several, several things relating to the Looney Tunes series, the Looney Tunes category. So let me know your memories on his name. I know that uh, They stated during that time he and Tex Avery, they were a huge part of cartoons in that time. They were the, he, Tex Avery was the original one that came up with all of the ideas where basically like the eyeballs popping out of the head and the, the, uh, the person in the, in the cartoon moving ahead of their body or different body parts moving or extending or just kind of doing all kinds of wacky, wacky things. Basically, he really pushed that in cartoons and... He's basically where that originated from, Tex Avery was. But Frizz Freeling, I remember being in every single ending of many of the Looney, Car Looney Tunes cartoons. He and Mel Blanc are two people who, whose names I remember seeing much of my life when watching the Looney Tunes cartoons and all of those types of shows. So let me know how you remember his name being spelled. I don't want to keep going on too much longer. I just wanted to keep this video short and ask you how you remember the spelling of his name. Freeling had an I in there for me. Did it for you. Because I can, it's like, it's one of those things that's like pretty much embedded in your mind. You see it. And it's one of those memories that are just, it's in my mind. I do know there is another Freeling, and his name is spelled that, that way, I believe, in that industry. But I remember his name being spelled that way. So much love. Let me know your memories and whether you remember Thumbs up if you do. If you don't, you can thumbs down. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, feel free to share your memories and let me know if you share my memory regarding his name. Much love and peace, and thanks for watching. I hope to speak with you again next time. Very soon. Bye.